Number seven. You can be anything. I first watched this at a house back when I used to do hippotherapy in the early 2000s. I quit doing hippotherapy in late 2005 because my brother Sammy went ice skating. I was very interested or intrigued about that and decided if he can do it, I can do it. And sure enough, that's what I've been doing for 17 years. Going ice skating at the Galleria. Now, on the day that I watched this, I also watched the full Teletubbies favorite things VHS and a little bit of bedtime stories and lullabies. Okay, that's the last of the Teletubbies videos that I will show you for this list because I want to focus on Barney. And that's what we're doing. So, much like... When I grow up, grown-ups for a day, and good job, the kids are pretending to be adults with many different jobs that they're pretending to be. So Barney takes BJ and the kids to a, a job store or something. And the kids pretend to be many different jobs or, or adults with, uh, with jobs such as a farmer. It says doctor right here, but Kim played a, a very specific kind of doctor, one that takes care of animals, a veterinarian. Uh, Emily pretends that she's the, the, uh, she's the captain of her space team, and therefore, therefore everyone is in outer space. I like the part where, where, uh, Barty and... The, where Barney and the children are puzzled by the fact that BJ, who pretends to be a mail carrier and, and delivers mails to to uh, to the kids when they need very specific things like se like seeds, medicine to try to help take care of Scooter McNutty's sneezes. It is said that this featured the last appearances of Scooter McNutty and Miss Seta. Oh, oh right, and, and also Steven, played by Chase Gallatin as well. But anyways, uh, he delivered them that, a star and a guitar for rock and roll star Steven. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steven and the other kids were puzzled with with mail carrier BJ in outer space. So, yeah, that happened. And also what happened was, several years ago, I watched The Wiggles, It's a Wiggly Wiggly World. And watching the trailer for this special on that VHS, which is, which is really a sneak peek of this special with, with the A to Z song in terms of jobs, and this special, or the VHS version of this special, flies around the place while, it, while through A to Z, the the dinosaurs and the kids are naming specific kind of jobs, and they leave three bloopers in the final cut of that song right there. And I, and since then, I was like. You Can Be Anything and It's a Wiggly Wiggly World must have been released at the same time. So on my old channel, and I'm sure this channel as well, I came up with the idea to do the, the You Can Be Anything intro with Tabanaba music. I like Tabanaba, but I'm just mixed on its beat. It's just, eh. Um... But a lot of other songs on there are great too. Timey Kangaroo Down Sport is my favorite song on there. And if you can be anything that you want to be, then you, then you can have any time that you want liking, enjoying, watching, and loving this special. Oh yeah, yeah. And the four kids in here are the same as Birthday Ole, the only episode to have a human 
cast member have a birthday, and that's Robert. So if it, so if Robert had his birthday happen then, then maybe this will be a belated birthday present for him. But still, the still this will be a fun time if you're looking for a job. Number six. Walk around the block with Barney. Speaking of jobs, in the neighborhood segments, uh, some adults uh, have jobs like a baker, uh, a barber, a restaurant, yeah, a restaurant waiter or waitress, uh, someone who takes care of the flowers, uh, a gardener, almost like that. And a cashier or, or, or a store clerk or many different things like that. When we when we got introduced to the neighborhood scenes, I noticed that Mr. Novak was walking his dog, and I'm just like, this is a semi-remake of High Neighbor, because there's a scene where BJ you now BJ wasn't around in season one. It's where Barney Pretends that he's Mr. Novak walking his dog, except the dog is invisible. So they just have to pretend, at least in here, the dog is real. Uh, just for one scene. And then, what? Then baby, then baby Bob is bored. BJ wants to look for Deborah, the delivery lady, to. To be back for her surprise. And with a bunch of cardboard boxes. Baby Bob wants to walk around the block. And so. With the help of some paint. And some. Some. Uh, uh, dress up. And makeup. And glasses. And, and things like that. Baby Bob has a walk around the block. And has a fun time with that. So if you want to walk around the block. Or walk around the neighborhood. Say hi, neighbor, and get them to watch this. Number five. What a world we share. Both this and Walk Around the Block with Barney had similar style trailers. When both when both uh, videos are on screen with a, a white background and a bunch of confetti... Looks like confetti uh, spray all over the entire screen with both videos on there. So in What a World We Share, uh, the dinosaurs and the the kids in here talk about sharing. Miss, uh, I mean, Stella the Storyteller leaves her suitcase behind. And so... Barney and the kids travel to France, Canada, and Mexico to try to find her and see if she can get her suitcase back. I've been to two of those countries before, Canada and Mexico. I've never been to France, although a state in the U.S. have, have similar kind of French styles around things, and that is Louisiana, which I've been there once. I've tried beignets at Café du Monde, which is the best known uh, café or restaurant in Louisiana. Now, while that's going on, the subplot is that BJ and Baby Bob fight over a box. Baby Bob wants to have it as a playhouse, and BJ wants it as a fort. Eventually, the two of them learn to share, and then... Then they have it as a playhouse, and they they get to play with it for a bit. Now, in terms of the three countries that Barney and the kids were in, in terms of ranking, I would say Mexico is my favorite, which would be in Angel Velasco's wheelhouse because he's of Mexican descent. Then Canada. I just learned that the guy that played Monty is actually not Canadian. He's American. He's an American because he was born in North Carolina, Red Springs, North Carolina. 
I've never heard of that, but I'm just saying that based on the Barney and Friends wiki. And then France is last. Um, but this is still a fun. <clears throat> yeah, this is still a fun special, and I I like it a little bit more than Walk Around the Block with Barney. But they're both on an equal. Uh, saying that I like just based on the trailers, I just like this more for reasons. And if you want to share this with. So if you want to share this with anybody, th then this VHS is definitely worth sharing with others.